Hi, in this video, we will see how to read a file using Python script. So at the beginning, I have a file. Here the file has some text, like this is line number one of the file. And I put one, two, three, line number over there. This is a text file. So our goal is in this module, we'll see how we can read this file. So to read this file, at first we need to write some Python script. So here in this folder, there is only the file. Let me create on Python script. Uh, suppose the python script name is read file dot txt uh, not txt it should be python dot py extension because it is a uh, python file dot py so once we create this python file uh, then we can write our script over there uh, our goal is to read the file so we know the basic for reading or writing anything in uh, from a file uh, we need to use open method. So this is the open method and inside the open method uh, one parameter is in, uh, or argument is mandatory that is the file name. Uh, for this case the file name is myfile.txt txt. Uh, right now uh, this file is located under the same directory uh, or same folder. If it is some other location you have to put uh, the path with the file name. Once we uh, define the file name then we have to open it and read mode if you also don't uh, mention it uh, anything it will also able to read because this is uh, so far we know that open has default mode read mode okay but i want to uh, mention it uh, here uh, that the mode should be read mode it is a good programming practice so the mode is read r and this is text file and i am putting text t and i am also adding the encoding uh, here the encoding I will use uh, UTF-8 this encoding so uh, this is actually opening the file by this line and let me define it in a file object this is F, F means file, file object and this is a file like object and now what we have to do we open the file now we need to read it to read the file we have a method it's called read so this is the method to read the whole file basically then uh, after reading the file what we have to do we must have to close our file so that's all uh, but now if you want to um, print uh, what we have to do we have to assign this value inside a print method right that's why i'm writing print print and then f dot read you can also assign this inside the variable also if it is also okay uh, but for uh, this tutorial i'm using this this way now if we run the application then it will show you the contents of the file in the terminal we can right click and then uh, we can choose uh, run python file in terminal or we can uh, press this arrow and it is showing that it is able to read the whole file right we have three lines here in the terminal and basically in the file it has three files uh, three lines okay so here uh, we didn't mention anything in the read method that's why it uh, read the whole file uh, if we want to read like uh, like three four characters from this uh, file what do we have to do we have to put some value over there as a argument okay suppose we want to uh, read like five characters for example then if we uh, run the application again then what we'll see we'll see that it is able to read the first five characters right so if you open this thing then first character uh, what is the first five character one two three four five till this part right that's why it is able to print this thing and uh, again if i want to read the next five lines what we have to do we have to do the same way so I am copying this thing and then I am pasting this thing and suppose I want to put other two characters after five other two characters. So let me clean this terminal and then run the application again or script again. Then what we are seeing that it is able to read uh, the first five characters and after that it is reading other two characters right. So like this right one two three four five this is five character and hi this is the next two characters so here using the read method uh, we are going one by one right so uh, once it is uh, reading five character then the cursor pointer is there then again if i want to uh, read something it will start from there to here now if we want to read the rest of the file then again we can write uh, the same command uh, like print uh, f dot read but here this time we will not put any argument over there okay because we are not mentioning anything to read some characters so what we will do uh, it will read first five characters then it will read then second two characters and after that it will print the rest of the 
uh, text file okay let me run the application or the script then we'll see uh, this type of thing right so what it is doing it uh, it is actually reading this first five characters then it is reading second two characters and then after that it is reading from s to here okay so this is the file so till this part this is first five character then the second two and from here to here last is uh, the rest of the file so in this way it is reading the whole file let me show you on other thing so here at the beginning we need five character then after that two character and if you want to uh, put our cursor at the beginning again what we have to do we have to uh, we can also do that like we want to uh, put our cursor from here to at the beginning so at this case we can also write this command print uh, like f dot seek then we can put zero basically it will show you that it is the cursor position is zero but after this it will uh, print the whole file let me run the application and you will see so here you see uh, at first we read this thing by this line uh, then second two characters we read and after that it is uh, the pointer goes to the beginning of the file that means zero okay and after that whenever we are reading the file instead of reading uh, after this character it is reading the whole file again so what it is doing at first it printed these three things then after that this two then we are moving this point again at the beginning and then it is reading the whole thing that's why uh, by after seek by using seek if we use this line then it is printing the whole thing but there is one restriction this seek method seek uh, cannot uh, move to arbitrary offset it has only zero and values from tail are allowed okay so we can put it in the comment section that uh, seek cannot move to arbitrary it can only moves only zero and values from tail are allowed okay so now uh, we know uh, using this uh, read we can uh, read uh, by character by character or for the whole file okay now let's uh, see another thing we can also read the whole uh, file by line by line so at that case we have to use the read line method so i'm going to uh, remove this thing because or uh, going to remove this thing uh, because we don't need uh, this is the next tutorial section uh, so here we'll use f dot read line so using this read line you can uh, read the python file uh, text file using python script you can read the uh, text file okay so here if you want to print let's see print then so it should be f i delete it f and then after that i'm closing this thing and here we are closing the file now uh, by using read line we are reading on whole line okay if we run the uh, script then we will see that it is able to read the whole line for the first line okay so it is able to read now if we want to read uh, the next line what we have to do we have to again write f dot read line okay now let me clean this thing and run the script again so here we are seeing that it is able to read and after that it is able to read the next line but here we are reading on line by one uh, online each time but if you want to read the whole file what we have to do we have another method it's called read, read lines if we use uh, file object after read uh, after that read lines method it will read the entire file so let me run the thing and it, it, we can check that thing so if we run the thing then we are getting uh, it is able to read the whole line but here one problem is there the problem is it is actually giving us all the uh, lines as a list see here it is line right here it is each line but it is printing as a list okay and there is one other thing i want to mention uh, that uh, this approach is good uh, if the file size is small but this approach is not good uh, if the file size is very big but i will not discuss that thing uh, we will discuss those things when we will use uh, the with block to open the file that is another module i will uh, show you but here the thing which we uh, try to discuss uh, how to read the file so basically uh, we can read the file by using uh, two uh, methods basically uh, two or three methods read 
uh, read uh, line and there is another one uh, read lines okay and here uh, optional argument suppose optional arg argument i can define like this way then so basically what is doing uh, we are using these three methods to read the file so read actually what is doing it is uh, reading uh, the whole things on character by character okay and if we put some character number then what it is doing it is reading only the particular number of characters and if we uh, finish reading all the characters of that file to read then after that it is uh, returning some empty string because after that there is nothing and read line it is actually uh, what it is doing it is printing each line at a time okay each line at a time and read lines and this is actually reading the whole files at a single shot but the output is as a list of lines so here it is the list of the lines so guys uh, thank you for watching uh, in the next tutorial uh, we will see uh, how we can use this file operation uh, for appending some text right now uh, we can write and we can also read now let's do one thing uh, let's append something on to on top of the file and in the, in the next video uh, we'll discuss how to uh, use append mode to write something of our existing file thank you for watching the video and if you really enjoy this then like the video and put your valuable comments and if you dislike also give the dislike and uh, if you are new to our channel uh, please subscribe to our channel uh, thank you for watching